Okay, sorry for the shitty razor mic, but also not really. Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So before we get into the video, I just wanted to come on here and have a little chat. So first of all, so sorry about the missed upload. I did not plan this. It was not my intention to take a week off, but you know, sometimes shit happens. So um, before I show you how I did these nails right here, I just wanted to come on and give a little bit of a disclaimer. So first of all, this is not for like beginners and I mean that like it's not for like if you just started wearing nails and you're looking for something cute and different um which if you want to try it I mean do you but I just thought I would warn you so these as you can tell they're pretty big on my hands you can use um smaller pieces like this one here it's going to be a little bit less obstructive a little bit lighter but um overall if you're I'm like go big or go home but uh, I just wanted to warn you, if you're not used to having your nails done, and by all means, yours don't have to be this long. Mine are pretty decent length. I wouldn't say they're anything crazy long, but um, even if you did them shorter, these things are quite heavy. You're going to feel them if you're not used to them, and they do get caught on <laughs> absolutely fucking everything. They will get caught in your hair. Um, they will get caught on whatever they feel like catching. And, you know, when they're on there nice and tight, it'll jerk and it fucking hurts. So, just thought I would let you know about that, you know, a little bit of a... Also, if you are the kind of person that, um, you're like me and you have zero social skills when it comes to getting attention and getting compliments, you're going to receive a lot of that. And it does sound good because people are going to see them, they're going to be different from anything they're used to seeing and they're gonna love them and they will completely work their way all the way across the street to come and tell you how much they like your nails and if you're not prepared for that amount of tension um maybe set this one out or try it in your downtime take them off before you go out anywhere because i do i'll be at work and I constantly have people stopping me and coming over and like I'll be in the middle of uh, taking care of a customer and I'm trying to show them like the routers or whatever and I'm talking to them and I'm in full detail telling them why they need this router um, because of what they're doing and then they'll stop and be like oh my god let me see your nails and I'm like Barbara do you want the fucking router or not like do you need wi-fi or not um, also when I'm working checkout and I'm bagging stuff for customers I can't hand them the bag by the handle like a normal human being I have to kind of grab the outside of it and hand it handle facing to them because if I have it by the handle they're gonna snatch it away real quick and it's gonna get caught on my nail and then that's embarrassing for all parties involved so just something to consider consider your daily lifestyle um, I try to not do anything too extravagant if it's a week where I'm working a lot or if it's a week where I have more customer service shifts than my normal like mobile shifts because if I'm working my normal department with the cell phones there's a lot less taking money and things like that you know most people they're not paying cash for a $1,500 phone although some people do so it's something to consider consider your job and overall lifestyle before you do something like this also it will prolong the life of your nails if you are doing less with your hands so uh, if you work at home by all means um, if you work retail like I do consider it that's all I'm gonna say of course you can do your shorter but again these little guys in themselves long nails is something in its own realm but adding these big bulky things on top of it just something you want to think about so just wanted to throw that out there and I hope you enjoy the video bye oh hi that's me so this is my nail kit it's actually an antique like sewing kit box but it works perfectly for this purpose it's quite messy but I know where everything is and this is good for that because as we learned in my last couple videos I am not a sewer these are the nails I use they were like six dollars on Amazon and uh, the polish is just polish from Hot Topic and this is where I store my cabochons which are the star of the show they're super inexpensive and easy to find on Amazon or eBay or wherever you like to buy them and the nails I like to use clear ones because it's easy to paint them whatever color you want and um, it's just important to get full cover nails and not just tips since we're not working with acrylic 
And that's the whole point of this today, is to show you that you don't need acrylic or anything fancy. Now this first step is pretty self-explanatory. I'm just sizing the nails. Uh, make sure they fit properly, because ill-fitted nails will guarantee that they won't last very long. Once I have my nails all picked out, this is where it gets a little bit weird. So go ahead and grab whatever putty you can find, uh, Play-Doh, whatever, just something sticky. Uh, putties are absolutely perfect for this. I'm using a putty eraser because it's what I have on hand. And this is how I decorate my nails without any formal equipment. Just stick your putty or your Play-Doh or whatever to the nails and then fit them to the side of the nail box. I got this idea from the YouTuber Raven Elise back in, I th shoot, it had to have been like 2014, 2015. And it really shows you don't need anything fancy to give yourself a bomb ass manicure, you know, just stick that shit to the side and roll with it. Once that's done, I just go ahead and paint the nails. I usually do at least two coats, depending on the look I'm going for, but make sure you let the polish dry completely between coats or else it'll turn into an absolute disaster. Also, don't spread the polish too thick or else the capuchons won't stick very well. Again, since we're not using acrylic, try to let all the polish dry for at least a couple of hours. Once you've added whatever polish you choose and you've left it to dry, we're ready for the cabochons. I'm just using regular nail glue, but if you have a super glue with a stronger hold, I think that'd be fine. I just use regular nail glue because it's what I have on hand and I find it's strong enough. I also want to ensure that I can safely remove my cabochons so that I can clean and reuse them. And here, I like to lay them all out next to the nail. I plan to place them one. That way, I know exactly what my plan is and I don't accidentally glue the wrong one to the wrong place. And make sure you get all of the putty off of the back of the nail and you don't leave anything under there because then it's going to be stuck to your nail and that's gross. So just be very careful about that. I start by adding glue to the back of the cabochon and then to the nail itself. You want a generous amount but not so much that it's dripping down the side. And like lash glue, you want to wait for the glue to be tacky before you attach the cabochon to the nail. Press it into place and hold it firmly until you can ensure that it's not going anywhere. The bigger ones need just a little bit more maintenance before we can use them. 
I bought this all-in-one nail drill kit thing at my local Walgreens for around $20. It has a lot of useful bits and even a dryer. And I'm going to be taking a bigger, more coarse bit and just filing the back of the cabbage on with it so that it has more grip when I glue it on. And then there's a rounder one I use and I'm using it just to kind of create some larger grooves again to provide more grip. I do this to any of the larger ones that I know will have a harder time sticking. The last two cabochons I've used in a previous nail set, so I'm just going to make sure I get any old excess glue off of the back, but some remaining glue will be useful in adding texture so that it'll stick, so I'm not going to take it off completely, just enough that it's not overwhelming to the nail. Once those have sat to dry for a few minutes, I'm going to take the glue and just put it around the edges where the cabochon meets the nail. If there's any gaps, I'll let the glue fall into the gaps so that it kind of creates a seal. Be careful not to turn the nail to the other side until you can ensure that the glue is at least somewhat dry or else you'll have glue dripping everywhere. And this is a key step in ensuring the strength of your cabochons to the nail. Now it's just time to do the other hand. Sometimes I'll lay the bigger ones face down to dry. I find that it helps to keep them from sliding off and sometimes they do slide off or it seems like they just won't stay on. 
and just keep taking them off, reapplying the glue, let it get tacky, and be patient because this can be very tedious work. And um, that's the one downside to not working with materials like acrylic. You have to work a lot harder to get the result that you're looking for. So again, just be patient. It'll stick eventually. I decided to add a glitter and a clear coat and I chose to do this after the cabochons because I didn't want too many layers obstructing the grip of the cabochon to the nail like I mentioned earlier. So I'm going to paint around these cabochons and on the part of the nail that is visible. Also sticking the polish in between the gaps and you know between the cabochon and the nail uh, will also help adhere them to each other and give you extra security. I left these to dry for a few hours, now I'm going to check them out, make sure they feel secure and that I didn't miss any spots with the collar. And then now it's time to apply, so make sure your nails are clean. Uh, at one point I got some putty underneath my nail and I had to clean it out after I'd already gotten started. I washed my hands with soap and water, scrub underneath and over top of my nails with a nail brush or a toothbrush. And then I wiped my nails with acetone or alcohol just to ensure that there's no oils on my nails and it'll make the nails last a lot longer. And then I grab my drill and I first use the cuticle tool to push back my cuticles. I have a bad habit of biting my nails so they always look really bad and that's why I try to keep them done as much as I possibly can because then I don't have that tendency. I use various bits and files to make sure my nails are fully prepped. A coarse nail file will give my nails some texture and also make sure that the press ones last. I often get asked how long my nails last and with proper preparation they last up to about three weeks which is how long my acrylics would normally last before one of them broke off and the the overall preparation of your natural nails is key and that's why most people think press ones don't last long it's because they don't know how to go about preparing the nail and as long as you do that and you aren't careless when you're physically handling things as long as you're wary of your nails then they will last as long as you allow them. I've had mine last even a month or more before. Make sure you're adding the glue to both your natural nail and the false one, just like we did with the cabochons, and hold the nail firmly in place until it dries completely. This again is key to making these last long. Once the nails are on, I just use my drill to kind of soften up the tips so that I don't scratch myself. They always have like that little bump on them from I guess the way they make the nails. So get that off and then I just finish with some cuticle oil just to make sure I'm nice and moisturized. And then we're pretty much set. That's, that's it guys. That's all it takes. A lot of patience and a little bit of nail glue. Or the other way around. 
thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you want to. I'm not going to tell you what to do because I'm not in charge. I love you. Have fun. Be safe. Look both ways before you cross the street. And remember, I make new videos every single week, except for last week. Okay, bye!